Why you don't call father? Why you don't call godmother? Why? Why? Female can't be a prophet. Hey, what then? So he's there saying, it's "Oh, what you got against women?" And I'm like, "Well, you have the same problem." It's a, it's a testimony of a woman, you're half that of a man. Highest right? level. Uh, yes. Also, remember that oh, your God no. does have body parts, no, right? No. Your God has body parts. No, he doesn't have body parts. Really? So you reject Sunni Islam, Orthodox no. Islam? No. Oh, okay. What, what is he not? Okay, a, okay. okay. I'm not. I'm what, what's his, so what's the intent of the verse? The intent of the verse is Something to show that Allah has attributes. God has a shit. His body parts are attributes. Body parts are not. Uh, Allah has the knowledge of the sea. Allah knows what we believe and He knows what we don't believe. Does that mean that you're okay. determined to do things? Sorry? Does that mean you're determined to do things? Do you have free will? Okay, okay. Because yeah, ultimately, your repentance is not what gets you into Jannah. It's only the will of Allah that gets you into Jannah. Of course. Yeah, there you are then. So Allah could be like, nah, right. didn't like it. Wait, so you're saying that not, um, God is not the only one who's infallible? There are others who are infallible, not just God. First thing I googled says no, that's not true. Of course, Google is. This is not right. Well, well, this is not right. Okay, we'll take because, it up with Google look, search then. I've been in <laughs> this country. Do, yeah. I've been in this country for 25 years. Okay. I've always hear, even in, from the media, that this is a mostly atheist country. Atheist. The people here are atheists. Most of the people here are atheists. In Scandinavia, Northern Europe, Europe, America. There are. Okay, so this is Pew Research, which is a respected um, surveying company that conducts surveys into certain questions. So this one is which are the number of religious uh, adherents per religious group. Christianity is the top. Now I agree with you. Yes, those who claim Let's to go be to Christian. the census. Let's go to the British yes, census. That's a different claim though. You're no, no, switching no. from one claim no, to a different claim. No, no. Look, I, I agree with you the, here, that there, in this country Islam is growing. But you, but I agree. Friend, I already you, agree with look, that. Look, if you if you say if you say the Christians in the world are 2.8 million, then you're counting everybody. You're counting everybody who's white or no, or European who, who or identifies as a Christian. Yeah. Can, can we go to the British census? Okay, which will be about this country alone, yeah? Yeah, but we take okay. this country as an example, right. yeah. So I perfectly understand and agree with you that Islam is growing in this country. Today, Islam yes. are the biggest group. Because today. of birth rates, yes. I don't care what because it, of immigration. Because yes. I, I don't care the reason. But <laughs> it's number yeah. one. Wait, wait. I agree with your second point. Your first point, I completely disagree with. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, Christian. I'm Muslim. Muslim. I'm Muslim. Yeah, yeah. So he was saying how okay. Islam is our biggest religion oh. in the world, and I said no. I then showed can I, few can I, can I check something? Can I check something? This is Pew Research. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Same in uh, Berlin for Islam. What about Iran? Guys, the levels of hostility in Iran is huge. Most of them are Muslim. Please, one point. Yeah, yeah. If, it's, if it is or if it is not, it doesn't make difference to the truth. That's it? absolutely true. That's absolutely. So we'll ultimately, have, we'll it, it is a new point. Sense, it is know. a new point. Yeah, can, can you go to the British census? I'm already agreeing with you about the fact that Islam grows in this country. You don't need to prove that. Me and you are in agreement. Uh, we're not talking about growing. Okay, what, so what's, it, what's your claim? We're talking about the actual numbers today. Okay, so you want to see the numbers? No, yeah. no, he's, no, he's saying. I only disagree about the world. No, no, he's saying it's he's not saying the biggest, it's growing. He's no, he's yeah. the fastest it's growing. growing. It's the fastest growing. Yeah, it's the fastest growing. What, 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 what I'm talking about? To be honest, we don't know. In the world or here, I'm lost. We don't know. It's, it's, it's even hard. It's even hard to... No, no, what we know is... Most of the people in the West are atheists. So, if this makes you happy, if this makes you happy, it's projected by Pew Research that Muslims will be the no, fastest. It's not, about, it's not about happy or not happy. Well, I'm just, about, I'm just trying to tell you what Pew Research says. Christianity doesn't even exist, and you're saying it's the biggest. What? It doesn't even exist. What? I've been, 20, I've been in this Am I a Christian? Country. I've been in Europe for. Come on, I, I, the only Look, Christians be, I, I see sensible. is in Speaker's Corner. Right. Look, I've been in Europe for 30 years. Okay. And I didn't see Christianity. I saw more Islam here than Christianity. You're if you a bit confused. In, if you walk on the streets in London, you think this is a Muslim country. Because you see Muslim men and Muslim women walking on the streets.
Islam has a very strong culture that ties with the Arabic culture, which is why when you see Muslims, you see them often where, where dressed. Is the you see culture? them to be visually what? identifiable as Muslim. Christians cr are not often visually identifiable as Christian. For example, how would you know I'm a Christian? I won't know. How would you know? I won't you know. wouldn't know, would you? You won't know. True, true. But what I'm saying is, there just, are often times when Muslims wear particular, uh, uh, wear particular clothing, so such as the, the kufi or. What I'm saying is there's visually identifiable things more often, yeah? So for example, if I go into a shop, there might be a sign that says halal. That's a visual identifier that this is probably a Muslim owned shop. Probably. Me as a Muslim, or any Muslim, why would they join a religion that is declining and leave a religion Depends that's where. growing? It's growing in China and Russia. It's growing in South America. It's declining in Europe. What? Have you ever Europe. heard? Have you ever heard about a, a, a mosque being converted into a church? No. Have you ever heard a mosque was converted into a church? No. no. But you always hear a church converting into a mosque. A, yes. Yeah. So why would a Muslim become a Because how many how many churches are there? If, if I become how many a mosques are there? If I become a Christian yeah. today mosques and I go to a church uh, next so, week, so. next week it's gonna become a mosque. Much more, but yeah. so if I become a Christian today. Today yep, yep. and go to the church. Lord Next willing. week it's gonna become a mosque. Uh, so no, do I have to become a, so. a Muslim again? So. What? Don't think it's happening that quickly. Another reason is I don't need to be a Christian because I have Jesus in Islam. No, you have Isa who is a sort yeah, of Yeah, I have Jesus. Isa in Islam. Yeah, I have Jesus huh? in Islam. Oh, that is Jesus. No, Isa I have the gospel so in Islam. Can you give me a, an historical account as to uh, why that is Jesus who lived in the first century? Well, there isn't any. Is there? You, you have to take it on faith that Muhammad had revelation in the Hira cave. Well, no, I take the testimony of the people who knew him at the time. Yeah, the but you have to so believe Matthew, that they're truthful for you to believe that. Those are your people. Yeah. Well, well yeah, they, they were the ones who believed him and heard him, yeah. I can do Josephus, I can do Tacitus, I can I do Pliny the Younger, I can do... Well, Tacitus is a, a Roman, uh, Josephus is a Jewish historian. So in other words, they're not Christians. I remember the very but there is no Islamic equivalent. Chris, I remember the very important question I want to ask yeah. Christians. Sure. You know, I always come with questions to you, <laughs> yeah. and yes. you never answer. Never, never. answer. Yeah. Sayed, okay. we, we Try go to answer back this. and forth about... Try to answer. This is a new one. Okay, new one. Right, then. About new things. There you go. Look, you guys say that we're not good enough to be with God. Yes, humanity because is falling. We, yes. we fell short of His yes. glory. Our nature has been corrupted from what it was meant to be through yes. the fall of Adam, yes. Yes. and we all inherit that. Yes. For we are all inherently inclined God to sin. God has a very high standard, huh? Well, yeah, it does because very high standard. perfection. And yeah. we, we couldn't reach that standard. Yes, on, on our own. Yeah. So that's why we need Jesus. Yes, because Jesus atones for us because okay. God pays the price okay. for us. If I am not, if I'm not good enough to reach the standard of God, yeah. What about Jesus? Doesn't he have a standard himself? Yes, he is the standard. What about if I'm not good enough to, for his standard? The standard is that you accept who he is and you follow him. Uh, okay, I, I couldn't follow him. Why? Because I'm a sinner and I, I did the same thing all I sinners. did with God. We're all sinners, my friend. I, I'm not good enough to be with God. And now I'm not but good Jesus enough to says, be with Jesus. But Jesus says he, will, he has paid the price for your sin. So your sin has been defeated. Okay. It no but longer has its sin. Even though, even so after, all sin that, after all that, no, after all that, because he calls you to follow him and to accept him. After all that, yeah. he has a standard that I need to keep up to. As someone who follows right? Christ, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, I fell short. Do I need someone else now? To bring me closer to Jesus, I, no, need Jesus some, I, need, I need Jesus to send somebody to die for me, so that to no. lower to lower the standard. His atonement is forever. But I'm not good enough to be with Jesus, let alone yeah, God. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, neither okay. am I. Neither I need somebody I. else. But Christ you, What about you? What about you? <laughs> Could you sacrifice for me? I don't think you You, you lay your message. life for me, so no, I can't, lower, lower I'm the just standard. A man. I'm just a man. Okay, There's I need not, somebody I'm then. I'm not good enough. Christ lived a perfect life. Christ was sinless. Do you understand the question? I disagree. He is the fullness of humanity, but he's not a mere man. But he was a man. Yes, he was a man. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, but he is not a mere man. I just want to. No, 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 I'm preempting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a man. Yeah, sure. Do you understand my question? Well, it's not really a question, it's more of an exclamation about how you don't have an somehow you need something more than no Jesus. No solution for it. Because I'm not, good, I'm, not, I'm not even good enough to be with Jesus. 
No, none of us are. Sorry? None of us are, that's the point. So, so what's, so the problem still exists then? No, because Jesus atoned for our sin. He gave us our salvation okay. as something that we can accept if we want to. Okay, what people who are not good enough to be with Jesus? They no one is. Okay, what, what, what can they do? They accept Christ okay. and follow him as a disciple. So okay, what about, what huh? about? So why not the Father and the Holy Spirit? Why because by following him, you are following the will of the Father. You know, John 10, 30, I and the Father okay, are one. I got that, Chris. I got that. Okay, I'm going to ask you about right. this now. Okay. Okay. Why, why did I need to come to Jesus then? I might stay with God and accept his, his yeah, so divinity. Accept his divinity and follow him. If he, if he only goes and accepts the Father alone, Jesus alone, is he all right now or not? If he accepts, if he accepts the Father alone, only, only the Father, no Jesus. No, because the the gospel of Christ has come to him, and he knows the gospel of Christ because we've talked about it quite a few times now. And it is therefore on you to accept Christ as the final uh, messenger, the prophet, yes. the Messiah yeah. of the Old Testament. All right. Okay. Oh Can I do that with God? He is God. Can I do that with God? Jesus said, what? What? He said he's the prophet yeah. uh, and the Messiah, not God. No, I said he is God. No, no. But you, you're thinking it's an like, or, but I'm saying it's an and. Messiah. Yeah. So, so it is an and. So it's the he, prophet, the Messiah right. and God. You, you guys are still going uh, uh, in a circle, all right? And you I still have the problem. So far. You think you solved the problem for people, but yeah. you didn't solve it because people fell short of the glory of Jesus. Yes, we all fall short of the glory okay, so of Jesus. Okay, so what you're going to do now? We either need somebody else, we are dependent a third on the, person, on for our or salvation. we go back to God. We are dependent on God. Huh? We, are dependent we don't on need God. Jesus then. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Yeah, have you read the New Testament? Have you read the Old Testament? Jesus is He's God. He's always going around in a circle yeah, so at the end of the day. Well, I don't think you quite understand. You seem to think as if there's... So he's not the son of God? Jesus is a son of God, yes. You ought to say he's the son of God. Is he God? Is he... But he's also am the son I of me man. or am I my son am I or am I daughter or what am I? What, what do we mean when we say a son of God? Why are you confuse people? Well, no, it's because you, don't, you don't God understand. Why can't you call Jesus God and not the son of God? Jesus God, not you can. The son of God. You, they're both accepted. Yeah, right. yeah. How, but you can't be God and the son of God at the same time. Why? What is the son of God? Son of, so if I produce a son, right. I made the son. Right, so you think yeah, it's a biological son, claim? It's either biological that, well, the, the or it's linguistically. The Quran tells you that, but the Quran is wrong. Because the, no. What, Surah, uh, what is it? Surah Ayah 171, I think. Ayah? Uh, Ayah 171, I think. It specifically talks about what the Quran thinks the Trinity is. But it's incorrect. Christians don't believe that. Right. Yeah, but my point is, is that what, what I'm trying to say is you should accept what the Trinity is based from Christians who believe it, okay. not from the Quran that doesn't understand what it is. Okay, well, very good, very good. Okay. And also okay. came five hundred. Why, why you years call out. God Father and yeah. Jesus Son? Are you against well, the Jews call God Are you against women? Yeah? Are you against women? No. Have there been any female? Have there been any female prophets in Islam? No, no. Why you don't call Father? Uh, Where's there been any why female prophets in Islam? Mother? As, and as Jesus' daughter, right? A why female not? can't be a prophet. They are then. So he's there saying, it's "Oh, not, what you got not against not women?" And I'm like, "Well, you have the same problem." It's not but is the testimony of a woman half that of a man? You're doing it on the highest level. Yes. There you are, then. You're doing it on the highest level. Come on, dude. It's not something misogynistic, dude. That's not misogynistic. There's a reason behind it. Ah, there's a reason behind it. I would love to hear this reason. Please, please. Okay. Tell me, tell me this reason. Tell me this reason. I have a question. Yeah. Okay. Regarding the female. I would love to know. Okay, you guys continue with him. Okay, I'm done with him. He didn't answer anything. Yeah. Well, you didn't quite answer it. Ask anything, really. You sort of just proclaim things. But anyway. Okay. Regarding females, do they act more based on their emotions, or do they? Act more based on intellect. It depends on the person. No, but it's, it's proven. Wait, it's proven, proven that are more men emotional than men. Women you do know are that more emotional you, than men. Again, you keep thinking it it's one more. or the other. That doesn't make sense. Are you saying that intelligent people aren't emotional? No, he's saying women are more right. emotional yes. than men. Right. But yes. therefore, he's saying they're less intelligent. No, I'm not okay, saying that. Okay, you're not saying that. Okay, okay, that's fine. I'm well, not I'm saying sure. that. Women are deficient in intellect. I'm saying that. Wait, what? No, you said. No, oh my you said God. they're not. Then no, you I'm said they were. Saying. I'm not well, I saying know. that. Did I? Did I'm I miss saying, I'm No, not. yeah, you probably missed. Okay, so, so you're saying they're not. They're not deficient in intellect. No, I'm saying. Explain that again. I'm saying that women they act more based on their emotions, okay. while men. 
they, I would say they act more based on what well, you can Sounds say like you're saying the thing I thought see, you, you did go where I thought you were gonna go. Look, I don't think it's an if it's a you can only have one or the other. I think you can be both. It's very bizarre to think that people who are intelligent are also not emotional. That's really weird of a claim. So ultimately, you have no claim against Christians about being misogynistic. If you yourself think that women are less intel intelligent as a, as a kind women compared to men. Women can be more intel uh, intelligent than men. But you think that, what, it's on average? It's regarding the testimony. It's regarding testimonies. Women, in terms of a testimony, they might act more emotional, meaning that if they hear the consequences of someone that, let's say, murdered someone, mm. they would want to hide it, for example, because they would feel emotional regarding that situation, so they would feel bad for him, or they wouldn't want him to get punished, because they act more based on emotions. That's the whole point. This is why they would, in Islam, two testimonies of women equals to one of a man. Right. Because men, in general, I would say the average man is more unemotional than women, I would say. He wouldn't... He would, it, it, it's true, though. It's, it's not something But again, that's, you're equating emotion with some sort of anti-intelligence. That's not true. It's not anti-intelligence. Right, so a woman just, can be emotional and intelligent. Just, of course. Right, so yeah. your argument falls then. You have to say there's a dichotomy, a dichotomy between intelligence and emotion. You need to prove that. I mean, you're not going to. I mean, I know, I know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I know it's for well, it's just you, but. What do you think of saints? As in, you see saints, saints. Saints? Yes. Okay, sure. So, do you, do you just pray to them or do you ask them out as well? Uh, me personally, no. So, there are Catholics who think you can pray for intercession. Uh, that's not something I hold to. But to be honest with you, I haven't done a deep dive into it. Um, because that's not my emphasis but on what I'm trying to do, basically. But is it praying to Jesus' intercession in its own? Uh, no, because we think he is God. He's a man, though. He's also God. He's still a man, though. See, no, you're going to keep... all going to go in circles. Yeah. It's, it's not circles, it's, it's just... Gonna he's gonna he's... Circles. Well, because my, Jesus is still point, an intermediate I... between you <laughs> and the Father. Mm. Because Jesus does Did pray Jesus to the Father. Did Jesus claim to be God? Because, but Jesus still Most prays to the Father, though. Huh? So Jesus still prays to the Father. Yes, he does. Yes, we yeah. don't think it's an atheist. So asking Jesus to pray yeah. to the Father for yeah. you is the intercession in its own. We can pray to Jesus. No, but Jesus prayed to the Father. You yeah. guys believe that Jesus prayed for everyone, right. for their sins to be washed off, and he also sacrificed himself. So okay. in the death of Jesus in its own is an intercession for God, for the Father. As, not in terms of intercession of prayer, as you think it is, but what I'm no, trying to... No, intercession mm. in terms of cleansing your sins. Mm. He interceded for you by killing himself, by getting killed, for your sins to be washed. Yeah, you can think of it in that sense, that yeah. he willingly, so with the will of the Father, chose to become so you, flesh, so you're saying and that, then died so first So you're saying willingly. that you can't intercede for a saint, it's kind of contradictory in itself. Kind of, because, wait, uh, which contradictory. bit? Which bit? Saying that you can't intercede, that you don't believe intercession for saints is something to right. do. Saints, yeah. 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 But so I think a saint is someone of whom you can pray to, who will then pray to the Father on your behalf. So why can't you pray to God instead of a saint? But I can pray to God. Right, but why yeah. do you have well, to pray to saints instead of God? I don't, it makes no I don't sense, right? Well, yeah. I mean, can you, from can what, you choose I, from what I know so far. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Can you choose which Based God to pray to? to? to. Can you choose which God to pray to? What do you mean? So you There's have only a one prayer God. directed to only the Father, for example. No. No. God, okay, so the, the problem comes to the fact that you think God is one person. No, God we reject is one that claim. No, one. Yeah, yeah, there is one God. Yes. There is no other God. Right. Yeah, but that one God is three persons. Are you alright, mate? Do you need a hand? Do you want to do that one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so coming back to the point, the fact that Christians pray to saints in itself Someday. is not something that's contradictory, is it? In terms of the Christian belief. Like, in, in terms of the Christian belief. Okay. Well, like I said, I, I'm, I don't hold that position, and I don't know enough about that position so to defend justified. it or critique so it. So you still like, justify that some Christians would pray to saints? Well, I don't know. I haven't. <laughs> you're asking me for things that I've told you. I don't know. No, but you said you don't right. believe in it. Yes. But is it still an opinion in the Christian belief? That in you Catholics, yeah. Yeah. I'm not a Catholic. So you're not Catholic? No. So I don't understand what you're at. An ecumenical. Ecumenical. It means, uh, so I, I don't hold to denominations as such. I am happy being wherever, praying wherever, being part of the church. So, so, um, I'm not about um, 
I guess you would say secondary doctrine. But about about the doctrine. Doctrine. I think this discussion is just going around in circles. It's always coming back you, to do you know what Christians the fact believe? of the Trinity. But the it's problem is, the is that I don't think you know what Christians actually believe. And I think that's the problem. I, I, I know what you guys believe. I know, okay, I what do we believe? Know. What's so, the Trinity? So you believe that there's one entity which is shared with three people. It's the Father, the Holy Spirit and okay. Jesus. Okay. You believe that Jesus has three attributes to himself. So he's Son of God, he's God and he's also uh, the Prophet and the Messiah as well. So you okay. believe in that. Right. You believe also that the, the Christians, they, uh, Jesus died for your sins, yeah. for you to go to heaven or whatever. Which is <laughs> oh, contradictory well. in itself. Why is it contradictory? Uh, because, yeah, but okay, what, like, why can't we put... Just say, I'm sorry, I can give you a sense. Why doesn't the Islamic that, God do the same thing? No, isn't that... Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to general. Repent to him. I'll say it. You, you repent. Isn't that literally what Christians say? No, but... No. You, your, you your, believe your, that your, your sins, sins have already been yes. cleansed. It's not the yeah. only thing when you go and God... In his flesh, him, yes. Blah, blah, blah. yes. Mm. We believe yeah. you can go up to God and be like, God, please, mm. I've done this, I've done that, please. Yeah, yeah. And you have to yeah, say the shahada. I don't think yeah. there's like and a then, system. Well, and you have to be careful because then you have to, you have to make that, sure yes. that um, he accepts you into Jenna because there's a fair chance he won't. Because yeah, ultimately, your repentance is not what gets you into Jenna. It's only the will of Allah that gets you into Jenna. Of course. Yeah, there you are then. Well, so Allah could be like, fuck. nah, right. didn't like it. No. Why? No. It's the will of Allah, isn't it? Why can't no, because, you okay. 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 I think you, you misunderstood. Wait, so, Why can't God be like, like, you're fine now, right? Fine now. Instead of his son coming down and dying, it makes no sense. Because it's arbitrary to forgive things without being merciful and just. Because so if you just forgive is, everything, so you're not just. Isn't just. You not have right. you have to um, no, atone. You have to atone for all of unrighteousness yeah, and sin. Has already died for sins. Yes, why yes, do yes. To go and atone. It makes no sense. I need, by my atonement is my affirmation. No, I don't atone. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is sin, the atonement. Why would you need to atone? I, exactly. I, is the atonement. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Jesus is the atonement. To, to, yeah. to like go and be like God, please forgive me that sin and this sin and that sin. No, right? because in order for me to have salvation, I have to affirm Christ and follow Him as a disciple. What is salvation, though? What is salvation? Salvation is to know Christ and to accept Him and follow Him. That is salvation. So why not, not accept And is there a place for the Father in salvation? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a place for the Father in salvation? Yeah. Yeah, but you just said it's you, you no literally Christ. just told me what the Trinity is. I know. Right. So do Christians believe that? No, but you're yeah. placing the title. Jesus is the one who does that. Okay. Father, you're placing right? the title. Is Jesus the Father or not? No. Is Jesus not? <laughs> right. Exactly. Yes. No, but you believe what? He is. Is Jesus the? Is Jesus the Father? No. No. So why do you really don't think Jesus is not God in itself? You know that we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? No, as in, see, in church, in, 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 that's in every church. There's a cross of Jesus in his form. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's called veneration. Yeah, so the same thing in his I just have a, I just have a quick. Why is it? So why is it Jesus and not the Father or the Holy Spirit? You can pray to either of them. There's no thing. We're talking about it's Jesus just like the Jesus person. in John 14, 15, 16. No, it says that you can pray to him in his name. No, we're talking about the Jesus But you Jesus can pray the to the Father and so on. In fact, it's, com know. it's common in our traditions to, to pray uh, to the Father uh, through the, uh, in the name of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Because oh, we... Yeah. I thought you only go to Jesus himself and not Father. No, but you will find Christians who will say things like in the name of Jesus. Why is that? Because of John 14. So you just believe that they share a title in itself because Jesus the person is not the father. That's correct. It's just they share a title. They share the title of Jesus. You believe that the, the father's title, Wait, Jesus. Yeah. Who shares it? The father's name is Jesus, isn't it? You believe that no. the father is Jesus. Can you correct him? I want you to see if you can correct him. That, what's the title of the father? The title. The it's title. not Jesus. Huh? It's not Jesus. What is it then? The father. So <laughs> what are you want about? So they don't share anything. What, what, so that's like saying what's the title of Allah. It's Allah, isn't it? Yeah. So, right, that, okay. so you're telling me yeah. that they don't share anything? So they, no, they don't do share, share a title? They share the divine essence that is God, because they are all God, that one God. In uh, Deuteronomy 6, 4, Isaiah 45, No, but they don't have the same level of divinity, uh, isn't it? They don't have the same level of divinity. Why? Because you believe that the Father is greater than Jesus. And that the Father uh, in, in his human form, yeah. So is there like a percentage of he's he, yeah? So it's thirty-three percent Jesus. When 20%. the son of, when the second person of the Trinity, the Son, took on flesh, he was made lower than the angels. That's in our scripture. Why? Well, why? Because lower? he's on earth. No, but he has to eat. He has to drink. So he's he lying. Then. So he's lying. Then. Why is so he lying? So his knowledge is hidden. 
That's what you believe. Do you believe his knowledge is hidden or his knowledge was deficient? No. His knowledge is restrained through his humanity. So he was restrained by, by the father. By himself, so the father, the father could. No, 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 no. 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 So you're telling me that Jesus restrained his own knowledge. Yes, his so, own. So his he's own, lying. Yes. So he's hiding. So he's lying. Why is so he hiding? He's, so he's hiding stuff. What's he hiding? He's hiding his knowledge. Yeah, yeah he's, he's hiding his knowledge, but you're saying he's lying. End of time. Yeah. No, but that's a... Nobody knows. Not even me. Yes, it's humanity So you'll never know. He's lying. So you'll right? so you'll never know fully the knowledge of God. Right. So why was he lying? No, but he says he has no clue. Yes, in his divinity he knows, in his humanity he doesn't. Who says that? Alright, do you know your mother loves you? Not really. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a bad example. Do you know that I don't know, there's someone in your family that loves you, right? You know it. Not 100%, though, right? It's oh, it's okay. Well, it think depends. of something you know. Do you okay, know right. things? Yes, obviously, I know Okay, things. so you know things. Yes. Do you still know them if you're asleep? No, I mean, except from dream, dream. No, that's a bad it's analogy. It's almost as if there's consciousness. That's a bad analogy. Because when you're asleep, listen, listen, you're not conscious. Listen. When you're asleep, exactly. you're not conscious. Exactly, exactly. So, so you're telling me so that his divinity is, was not listen, conscious. Listen, no, listen, so his divinity listen. was sleeping. My friend, can I so speak? Is that can I speak? Can I speak? Because you're not being respectful now. Okay, I'm sorry. So what I'm saying is this. There is a, you could make an analogy that we know things in a way that we are conscious of them. So for example, if you ask me a math question, I could think of the answer and I'd be like, I know the answer to that. But there's also an unconscious that we have, a subconscious that is in our brain, is in our minds, that doesn't also know things that we can't necessarily recall whenever we want to. In a similar analogy, it's like the son of man who had his humanity, in which there are things he knew, and his divinity, in which there are things he knew. So the point is that I'm trying to make is that the father controls Jesus in itself. So he has power over Jesus. Because you just told us before, okay, you're saying that Jesus was trained his own knowledge into whatever, a subconscious or something that's sleeping. His own divinity. Yeah. Okay, but you said that that's also a part of the Father that The controls. Father shares the same thing, yeah. They no, share but the, the Father the has more essence. knowledge than Jesus. No, not no, in terms but of... his Father... The Father... Right, so let's, let's, okay, be, let's be clear uh, okay, on terms. Okay, can can I, you say Jesus is a part... Can you let me speak, though? Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but you're, you're trying to make claims, and I'm trying to solve them as you say it. No, but the claim right. is that the Father knows everything. Yes, do you believe that? Of course, we believe that Allah, Allah knows father. everything. Allah knows everything. Allah, Allah knows the, the knowledge. No Allah has knowledge of the unseen. Mm. Allah has the knowledge of the seen. Mm. Allah knows what we believe and He knows what we don't believe. Does that mean that you're okay. determined to do things? Sorry? Does that mean you're determined to do things? Do you have free will? Okay, okay. That, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> it is, it is, isn't it? Okay. The point is that God doesn't work in the spectrum of... Yes, but we have a way of understanding that. In Islamic uh, theology, there is no way of really understanding that. How do you understand that? So there's the modernist position, which is where I... There's the modernist position, which is where I have. I'm not going to deviate that. You can go into it if you want. I could talk about that, but otherwise... It's just, okay. It's called modernism. Okay, let's go back to the point that... It's so hard to uh, it's so hard to explain because well, it's it's so contradictory. Like you're saying that Jesus. What's well, contradictory? The thing you've no, said so far has shown any contradiction because you're saying that Jesus himself restrained his own knowledge yeah. for the sake of for the sake of what for the sake of him being a human. So the What's image the of a though? human is someone that's deficient in knowledge. Well, humans are deficient in knowledge, yeah. So. I don't understand. See, so I'm answering your questions that no, you still seem you're not confused. Answering them. I just you're answered saying... it. I have answered every one and you just pull a funny face. My point. Yeah, my point is that I don't think I think you're trying to demonstrate problems where they don't exist. No, it's not problems. It's uh, finding great. answers. Great, that's brilliant. Right. No, no, finding, problems. no, it's not problems. It's finding answers. I'm glad you agree there's no finding problems. Finding answers. The I gave you answers, right? That, no, the no. fact that you guys never on, have too, the right? answer. We you do. Never, I just, no, you never have the answer. There's a difference between Jesus never there's showed his between, true knowledge. There's a difference between me not giving an answer and you not liking the answer. No, it's not me not like liking the answer. If I go, if I go to a Muslim and they give me answers, I can't say I'm giving me answers. I'm gonna like them. They're giving me answers. No, what I'm trying to make the claim I'm trying to make is you will never have answers in Christianity we because do. God because God restrained his own knowledge mm. you're saying that Jesus Did, has Allah his ever restrained his own strength no, that's it. That's yeah. has a cloak and he has to harm others. He has okay. to oh, yeah. like you, But he does have a restraint. Right. Why can't Jesus come down as no, a man, but knowing the end of time? No one can restrain God. God. No they one could, can restrain he God. He could do. Why not? I, don't, so I, can't, tell you, I can't tell you exactly why, why can't Jesus but I can tell you that he could. As a, as a man, mm. that is God, knows the end of time, doesn't praise anybody, he is God. And then he comes well, no, and he, says, I am God. Because, That's what a because person who is God would do, right? Revelation Revelation is revealed to us. I just have one question. Father, to know his Father, 
Holy Spirit and the yes. and the yes. humanity. So why can't he just what? come in as a as a God, as a man in the form of God? Sorry, as God in the form of man. Because that would necessarily be a contradiction. Why? Because then you would have to have. How can you retain all of your divine powers and also be so the definition of man at the same to time? Say that God can't create a man in the form of God. No, he can create. He, a, can. he can play. So why not? He can. Well, no, because by this, by definition, you wouldn't be all knowing them, would it? And he wouldn't. He wouldn't be in any way uh, all powerful, right? You would have to eat and no, drink. That's the Muslim claim, why, basically. Why can't God? No, the Muslim claim is that Allah, Allah is not controlled by anyone. His knowledge. Well, he he's determined by his creation. He controls his own knowledge. Allah, can, Allah controls Amen. his own Amen. knowledge. Give your heart to Jesus. Also, remember that Allah your God knows, does have body parts, no, right? Your God has body parts. No, he doesn't have body parts. Really? So you reject Sunni Islam, he, he, Orthodox no. Islam? No, oh, okay. What, what, is he not a... Uh, okay, I'm not Ash'ari. I'm not Ash'ari. Okay, the point is... Are you with what? When Mutazana, God what, what attributes it? himself okay, to right. having a hand, yeah. to having a feet, yeah. to having a shin, you don't to think having two hands... In some way. Can you let me explain no, my no, point? No, I'm, 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 no. I just asked you. Tell, you can say <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Alright, So there's a... There's a sect in Islam that believes that Allah... When he says that he has hands, when he says that he has a shin, it's all metaphoric. It's all something, it's not, it's definition in itself, it's not what we think it is because they believe, so, some of them negate these attributes. Some of them say that God has no hands. Some of them say that God has no shin. Some of them say that God has no face. Okay. So Even though that Allah right. explained that he has a face, okay. he has two hands, he yeah, has a shin. Two right hands, a shin. And yeah. The correct view on Allah's attributes is that he has whatever he attributes himself in a way that befits his majesty. So there's also a verse that explains everything that you get, you're trying to claim that Allah says that he is not like his creation. Absolutely, so, yeah. So the fact of the matter sort of is that if 21. he says that he has a hand, yeah. the hand in itself is not like his creation. So wow. that already solves you the question know of does Allah has there. hands. There's a big problem. If, no, well, no. I mean, you don't okay. actually take the... Okay, you can take the analogy that, right. for example, a clock has a hand. Yeah. Uh, that's a very common analogy right, that right. Muslims say. I'm not saying that Asharis are not Muslim. They are Muslim. But the correct view that um, uh, Allah's attributes are whatever He says that befits it, that befits His Majesty. And we know that his attributes befit his majesty because of that verse. That verse literally is the definition of his attributes. God, Allah is not like his creation. Meaning that when Allah says he sits on his throne, you as a human that has a very limited knowledge of God would think, oh, God sits like, like that, like a normal human being. But that verse, it literally explains and it goes against our own subconscious meaning that God does not sit like he's like we sit. He sits in a way that befits his majesty. And I think that's where we, I would say, we go against each other because we believe that Allah, that everything that God does befits his majesty. So when people say, can God lift a rock that's too heavy for yeah, him, that's, fine. that's contradictory in itself yeah. because the question yeah. implies that God doesn't do stuff that befits his majesty. God does stuff that will limit himself. For example, he does. When, no, he doesn't do stuff. You guys believe that? You, sorry, you just said he did. But God, okay. Maybe you, you misspoke. believe that God can do everything? No, not not. Well, let me. Do you believe you that have to, God you have to be accurate here. Because I believe that God could do all logically possible things. Right. Okay. Yeah. So God can do whatever He wants. God can make some. Well, He can't God, lie because then He is. Um, no, 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 no. What I'm saying okay. is, God can make Himself into three entities and also be one. Because you believe that God is omnipotent. No. Do you believe that God is omnipotent? God can never cease to be God, and God can never um, change his own nature. But no. Was, because when Jesus no. came down, mm. but his nature is one, though. True his God, nature is one. Right? Hey, man, go see you again. Chris, how you doing? You're not causing trouble, are you? You're not causing trouble, are you? No, no, no. It's, it's not, just it's not liking the answers. In circles every time, it's not going in circles. It's going like, to lots of different places, but you're not liking the answers. No, the answer. <laughs> But okay, because I want to get back to what you were saying, because I didn't get an idea about what you actually are. Okay, so uh, let's contrast. What does everyone believe here? Does Allah have body parts in a way that is uh, literal but unknown? Like it's not like creation. It's not like his creation, and it befits his majesty. Okay, yes. but it does though. Yeah. Okay, so you are quite. He doesn't have a hand you are, like you. Are, you. Like, he doesn't have this hand. He doesn't yes, have yes. this okay, hand. Okay. Do you have the same view? Do you have the same view? I don't. Well, know. I'm going to repeat what Imam Malik said. What's that? <laughs> we affirm the verse. 
but the how we don't know exactly. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Yes. What I'm saying is then is that if he does, if he does have body parts in some way, it's not way. body parts. I, yeah, but, but okay, but the a way hand, he the way he chose to the reveal it. Definition of a hand. Yeah. In it changes, exactly. it's, it changes. Because a it, clock can have right, a hand, right. but it's not our hand. Right. Right? But the problem is, is that the language used that's revealed in the Quran, yes. is, or in the Hadith, gives relational properties that are only available in creation. No, because our intellect doesn't define what the Quran is. You, no, no, but what use, mean is. you can't use your intellect to give your own interpretations of okay, verses okay. from the Quran. But, but what are, is it? Mm. Okay, there's a word. Specific... Uh, I remember you. Yeah, I love doing more. Assalamu alaikum. Mashallah. He's the Spanish very intelligent. I like he's a male I'll guide you. I'll guide you to the truth. That's Thank you. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Appreciate that. That's why the problem is when you put when you use your own intellect to mm. give definitions to mm. verses. That our intellect is very subjective. Mm. So you can believe one thing, mm. he can believe another thing, but. God's intellect is objective. Yeah. Oh, God's intellect is objective. So when Allah says He has a hand, yeah. we don't use our own subjective intellect to okay. give a definition I, of what He finds. Just very quickly then. Do we, do, is there any available meaning in that verse or that hadith that you can derive from that? You can't derive a definition of the hand because so it, our it, intellect is So we subjective. have no knowledge of what that could be? We don't have knowledge of God. Okay. Uh, of God I just want to make that clear. We have never seen God. Okay. Okay. Do you understand now? Okay. We have a description of God. We we don't have a description of right. God. Right. You see, you, you actually mentioned something before, which was that God can't create a, a rock so heavy he can lift it. Yes. That's paradox. Well, the reason that's wrong is because effectively it's describing nothing. No, can God create himself? But, yeah, I, I agree that he can't. I agree that that makes no sense. But what I'm saying is, is that if you say that in, say for example, Surah 68, Ayah yeah. 42, where it talks about Allah's shin and how it will be revealed on the day of revel uh, resurrection, if that doesn't mean anything, then it does then, mean something. It does mean something. Yeah, but it means something. But you don't know it. That is no. It's also how you exactly don't know. Right. right. That's fine. That's fine. But it would seem as if there is a way in which it is appropriate to, to describe it as a shit. Now you can say, we have no idea what it looks like, anything like that. But it is going to be visibly no, shown we, to, okay, the, okay, uh, okay. to the Quran. It's, it, it's not how it looks like, it's how it's, inter it's interpreted. Right. The, the, so the what does that verse mean then? Okay, the linguistic term, shit. Yeah. That cannot be attributed to our body part because God right. befits his majesty. So what's the intent God, of the verse? The intent of the verse is Something to show is, that Allah has attributes. God has a shit. His body parts are attributes. So what's the intent of the verse? So not, the intent of the verse is Something to show that Allah has attribution of God has a shit. Right. Body parts are attributes. Well, the problem is though, is that... Yeah, but that's I would have all the definition that I have, that then I'm not going to bow to you. You're asking me to turn off my... I'm going to know what it is, but I don't understand that. Like. And just yeah, say, look, accept that it doesn't mean because anything. Because you don't have an that understanding. That doesn't make any sense. Only God right, has but, an understanding of his then, own self. What's the point of the revelation, then? The point of that a revelation is to show that right. God has attributes. How God has attributes. Wait, well, it, it, it says shim. more than that. We can look at the verse if you want. It talks about how the shim will be revealed yeah, the, on the day of resurrection. Okay. And the and the unbelievers will not bow in front of it. Okay, yes. So at some point, if a day of resurrection happened, yes. I would have to look for a shin that I'm not going to bow to, and I am, and I'm going to know what it is, but I don't know what that's going to look like. Yes. Yes. So that doesn't make any sense. No, like, but because I'm, you're using your intellect. <laughs> yeah, but that's not a good way of solving an argument. Well, yeah. I am very confused about how Allah can have body parts. But I also just want to make it clear that if you have a problem... How when your God came in as a human? Exactly, yeah. right? Exactly. So, let me just explain. In Christianity, we have an idea that God is spirit... Did God ever have a blister? Listen. 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 No, 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 listen, no I'm listen, just asking. Listen. God is immaterial. God is immaterial. From all eternity, immaterial. He is spirit. But then at a point in temporal time and space, he chose to uh, enjoy unto himself the fullness of humanity. Right. Now, now in Islam, in Islam, God always had had in some way body parts. No. Why? Because body parts. That's what the Quran says. Us. That's what the Quran tells us. Body part is a creation. Well, it's not. It's not like shins that we know. But it is a shin. A shin. It's a uncreated a shin. shin. Okay, the body part shin. Okay. Right. 
let's think of a shin right now. A okay. shin is something that's tied to your leg yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. We could do the song. It's tied with joints. Yeah, yeah it's linked to our muscle, tibia, tibia, whatever. Knee bones. Okay, yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, now you've got the image of a shin. Right. You take that image of a shin. And imagine, let's say you break your shin. Right. Can God break his shin? Can God break his shin? Yeah. Well, it depends on what, what tense you mean. Can God enjoy into himself humanity, in which then it has a broken shin? It's God perfect. Yes. It's God perfect, yes. If you break your shin, does that mean you're a perfect man? Not a perfect man, no. In the sense of that you are limited in your humanity. In the sense that if you break a body part, it goes against perfectness, the idea of perfectness. Right. So we're we think that, that Jesus was perfect in his... The shin is um, not a body part. Because if it's a body part... It is a his morality. He never sinned, for example, which is what the Muslims believe. Yeah. No, we believe that Prophet Muhammad never sinned. And Jesus or not? Yeah. Uh, Did you? Well, Jesus never yeah, sinned. So you need to. Yeah. Yeah. And the Prophet? Um, Why is Jesus infallible if he's only a man? Because infallibility, if he wasn't infallible, then that means he would make mistakes. And that means if we follow his mistakes, right. everyone would be making mistakes. But who is it? Wait, so you're saying that not, um, God is not the only one who's infallible? There are others? Who are infallible, not just God. Yeah, but you understand? See, now, now I'm going to say the whole. That so doesn't make sense. you're trying to equate Prophet Muhammad to God. No, I'm no. saying that you said that. Well, he could do it to Muhammad, but you said Jesus. He is. Um, he makes no mistakes. He's morally okay, no perfect, mistakes. Yeah, okay. and he has. Um, yeah. Why does I'm, he I'm make claimer. no mistakes? Though? Why does he make? Well, no mistakes? Well, I would say it's because he's God in flesh. No, so I have a reason that's for that's explaining the wrong it. But you don't have a reason. No, you just have to think that Jesus is in because a prophet right. cannot make mistakes. I see come again. And I will bring my angels with you. The Bible is told you when Jesus is coming. All the heavens will be silent. He's saying, why is he so fit? No, he doesn't say that. I am just a man like you. What is that? What you're talking about is Jesus goes to a fig tree and he curses the fig tree for not producing any fruit. And the idea that skeptics say is, oh, why did Jesus not know that there weren't going to be any fig That's a mistake. Because it's Jesus was making Jesus a point. If you read the Gospel of Mark, it starts off with that story, and in the same chapter, it goes on to the story of Jesus going into the temple and he drives out the moneylenders. And basically, what Jesus says is he says to the tree, Cursed are you and your generations, or something to that effect. It's a parallel for what is about to happen next, which is. Well, my point is, is that the author, the author Mark. Yeah, the, no, it is like that in the Bible. It starts off with that, then that, then that. Yeah. And you do know that he returns to the fig tree. So he starts off at the fig tree, says so that, then, he, then goes so to the temple, then goes back to the fig tree. So the, worst the point thing is, is he realized he made a mistake. That's that. like that. So the worst thing is, he realized he made a mistake. So he came back and it was fixed. No, that's not in the text. That's an interpretation of the text. You just said he came back. Yes. How do you derive that interpretation? How do I write an yeah, It's the mainstream interpretation from scholars. And what's that interpretation uh, of that verse? Of the fig. That he cursed the fig tree. I'm sorry, I can do it. Should we wrap up? Because I think we've been going on for a while. Thank you for the conversation. Thank you for the conversation. We just ran around circles, but at least. Well, because well, no, you have your objections to Christianity. I might. Sorry, mate. I have, I have um, my objections to Islam. But it's important to know that you should know your religion as best as you can before you act. Because otherwise I'm going to talk about other body parts and it's going to get a bit awkward. No, but I'm, I'm aware of that. Okay. Because that's yeah, a you discussion a in itself in the Muslim world. It is, it is. Yeah, we, we don't need a Christian to come up to us and ask that question. Yeah, but my friend... For us to already yeah, discuss it. Anyone can ask about anything. I, I can ask about parents. Islam. You can ask about Christianity. I'm never going to tell you don't ask questions about Christianity. You always should. We have a strong tradition of asking questions well, in the would study. I, would I go to a Muslim to yeah. ask about Christianity? Uh, well, I probably shouldn't. Yeah. But, yeah. So why would I go to you to understand the Quran's verses? I agree, I agree. All I'm saying to you why is Why would I go up to you and you ask, ask you about Allah's body You can ask anything to anyone. Parts. You can ask anyone anything. That's the point. You're meant to learn. Ask who you can. You don't just no, get your information problem, just from a Muslim. No, you can't ask everything about, to everyone. No, don't just... Okay, the information because I have on Christianity did not just come from Christians. No, it's because you learned I studied. Christianity yourself. I looked at Richard Carrier. I looked at Bart Ehrman. Yeah? So, so it's justified for you, right. for me, to go up to you and ask yeah. you questions about Christianity. You, you can, you always can. Of course, no, just no, like no, the fact that no, you're no, asking no, me no, questions no, about Islam no, is justified. No, we're going to try, try and wrap it up now. But. Just like you asking me questions about Islam is justified because I'm Muslim myself. Yeah. I believe in what I'm saying, so what I'm saying actually comes from what I believe. You can't just come to 
uh, non-Muslim and ask him about why? Why? Why can't you come up to me and ask me about Christianity? Uh, because but he doesn't believe in that. So he'll oh, why? Still sorry, sorry, a non-Muslim. So well, still I mean, you could you could still ask a non-Muslim about Allah's body parts. You can ask anyone. There's no so question that's about that. that. Yeah. The fact that he oh, doesn't okay. believe it let, shows let me try, that he negates let me it. Try and, yeah, let, your, I think your point is that you should go to people of knowledge yeah. for a proper answer. Of course, that's and what that Allah those says. people of knowledge. That's what Allah says. Yeah. Allah tells us to go back to the people of knowledge. Yeah, so let's just go back to people of the book. Yeah, anyway, another question. Um, all right. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what's your name, by the way? Ahmed. Ahmed. Chris. Chris. Take care. Pleasure.